Hi, Dr. Jaskaran Singh. I am head of the Department of Forensic Sciences here in Gita University, and uh, here we are having in first semester the crime scene investigation, wherein we do teach students about various, you know, investigation procedures and investigation process, wherein there is a certain crime. And talking about the crime scenes, so we have different type of crime scene depending upon the nature, depending upon the locations, and all. So if we talk about depending upon the nature, so we have indoor crime scene and outdoor crime scene. Wherein in this particular scenario, we have made the indoor crime scene, wherein this is a dummy crime scene and the body is being hanged, body is being hanged and there are certain evidences and these particular evidences has been marked. So in today's class, we will be discussing them about the entire procedure, how the crime scene investigation takes place, what is a crime scene, what are the protocols which are being followed, what is the role of first arriving officers, what is the role of, uh, you know, FIR, and each and every thing will be explained here. Provided the most important, the amalgamation of chain of custody, which has to be maintained properly, and tampering of evidences shall not be there in this particular crime scene investigation. While investigating the crime scene, we are having certain evidences which have been marked. This is the first point of crime scene investigation that we have to rescue the victim if alive. If the victim is not alive, what we have to do? We have to maintain that particular victim in its original position itself. So since the searching protocols has been done, the method which it was used for searching the, uh, this particular crime scene was uh, zonal method and the students have adopted that particular searching procedures. Now the students are also examining the body which is being hanged. So her name is Crystal and we have uh, Sanrachna and we have Siddhika. These two students are examining that what may be the cause of death. Why? Because since it's the body is being hanged, but provided that we are also having the screwdriver which is being inserted in his in her neck moreover there are bloody prints also so that is a mystery so the both the forensic experts are analyzing the entire body So here in this particular hanged body, what we are doing is the students of BSc Forensic Sciences, which I will be apprising them that they are the future forensic experts. What they are doing is they are measuring the hanged body from top, the vertex of the dead body till the flow. So this measurement, measurement will be letting us know that what was the actual height of the dead body and what was the distance between the roof and the vertex of the dead body and what is the distance between the bottom of the dead body till the floor of the dead body so these parameters will be illustrating and give the justification that the body was really hanged by himself or herself or it is being strangulated first or then it's being hanged so this is a suspicion so these particular measurements will give us a brief narrowed horizon that yes, how it's a strangulation case or how it's a hanging case. So herein we have Himanshu in BSc Forensic Sciences wherein he is, you know, determining the shoe footwear impression that what is there, what type of, you know, the pattern the footwear was having. And since this is a bloody uh, foot uh, shoe print, so we need to check first that whether this particular sh uh, bloody shoe print is actually a in a real sense it's a bloody shoe print or it's a you know imitated shoe print wherein it's being you know you can say uh, taken by other substances like beetroot juice or any other red color fabric or any other kind of substances so this particular student uh, Himanshu is doing this particular analysis wherein with magnifying glass he will be demonstrating he will be capturing the fine details of this shoe print 
and later on the photography of the shoe print is being done and the comparison is being done in later stages. Now uh, let us talk about the most crucial evidence we receive on our crime scene. So now we are talking about fingerprints. Fingerprints on which depends upon its nature, type, we need to collect them and preserve them in a better way to further process with criminal investigation. So now here we are getting a print which is stained with blood. Now Parthiv is a student of BSc Forensic Science, will be examining the bloody stain print. So this is a fingerprint which is blood stained and this is examined by a student which is Parthiv from BSc Forensic Sciences. When we talk about bloody, uh, bloody fingerprints, it needs to be examined carefully. After examination, it is photographed and further captured. When we talk about fingerprints, there are some types of fingerprints which is not visible through naked eyes, which is known as latent prints. So we'll be looking for potential source of latent fingerprint as it plays a very evidential and crucial role in criminal investigation. So we'll be looking for potential sources of fingerprints such as glass, so the student from BSc Forensic Science is dusting the glass piece for looking for the presence of fingerprint evidence. This student is doing the fingerprint uh, dusting with the help of white brush and white powder and he is doing the dusting with the black powder uh, using the black brush on the glass surface. We at the Department of Forensic Sciences Gita University have empowerment of budding girls forensic experts who will be serving the nation in near future. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Siddhika and I am pursuing BSc Honours for Racing Science and I am student of uh, first year. So our first step is to do is uh, to check the victim whether if it's alive or not. If the victim is alive, we have to uh, provide, uh, provide the victim a proper medications. And if the, victims, uh, if the victims is dead, we have to uh, leave the body as it is in its position for further, uh, for further crimes investigations. Good afternoon, my name is Mary and I am pursuing BSc Honor Forensic Science from Gita University and I am a student of first year. So the second step uh, of crime scene investigation is to secure the crime scene. And how do we secure the crime scene? We secure the crime scene by barricading the crime scene so that the evidences at the crime scene is not being tampered. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Manshi. I am pursuing BSc Forensic Science from Gita University in first year. So the third step of crime scene investigation is work through a whole crime scene. Hi, my name is Pallavi Pathak and I am pursuing BSc Forensic Science from Gita University and I am the first year student. So the next step of crime scene investigation is searching methods. There are different types of searching methods. Zonal method, grind method, spring method and the wheel method. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Tanisha. I am pursuing BSc Honours Forensic Science from the Gita University. I am the student of the first year. The next step of the crime scene investigation is the documenting of the crime scene. In the documentation, there are the three steps, note making, photography and sketching. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Neha Jain and I am pursuing BSc Honours Forensic Science from Gita University. And I am the first year student. The next step of the crime scene investigation is note making, in which you have to mention about the crime scene, like all the evidences, date, time, etc. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Vanna and I am pursuing BSc Honours Forensic Science. I am first year student. Uh, today I am here discussing about the photography. It is a 2D portrait of the crime scene. It is done by in three different ways. O uh, overview, mid-range and close-up photography. Hello everyone, my name is Yajna. I am pursuing BSc Honours Forensic Science from Gita University. I am a student of a first year. Today I am telling about a sketching. It is defined as a 3D portrait of sketching. Sketching is of two types, rough sketch and fair sketch. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Neha. I am pursuing BSc Honours Forensic Science from first year from Gita University. We further proceed by collection, preservation, packaging and labeling of the evidences. Hello everyone, Yashika Man on this side. So I am pursuing BSc Honours from Forensic Sciences, Gita University. I am a first year student. After the collection, packaging, sealing of the evidences, the evidence will be sent to Forensic Science Laboratories for further examination. Hello everyone, my name is Anachna and I am pursuing BSc Forensic Science from Gita University. I am the student of first year. 
B.Sc. Honors Forensic Science. So chain of custody is very important. Thank you. So here we are suspecting a presence of latent fingerprint. As we all know, it plays a very vital role in criminal investigation. So we will be using different different techniques for decipherment of fingerprints. Here we are suspecting a print over the entry gate of you know a room. So here we are will be using a powder method which is known as black powder method with the help of a brush for deciphering the latent fingerprint. So previously we have developed fingerprint with the help of black powder. As you all you can see that it's a black surface so it would be very difficult to decipher fingerprint with the help of black powder. So in this surface we can use you know different different powders which suits its contrast. So in this surface we will be, we'll be using fluorescent powder for the decipherment and our MSc student Veena and Ajay will be deciphering the fingerprint.